What is good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Carrie. If you're new here, please make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything when I upload. I do a little bit of beauty, a little bit of fashion, a little bit of home decor, a little bit of lifestyle, a little bit of everything, okay, girl? So I got you. If you don't know, now you know. If you ain't new, welcome back, boo. Let's go ahead and get it popping. So we're gonna jump right into reviewing this unit, all right? So I'm gonna jump straight into the unboxing and the styling portion, and then I'm gonna let you know what I think about it. Let's go. I have a unit from Sensation Nail from the Sheer Muse line from their Texturize series. Now, this is the style Rone in the color TH2 slash 30. They do have bunches of other colors as well, y'all. It does say it has a natural density baby hair and it has a pre-plucked hairline. Now it has two combs in the front, one in the back, adjustable straps. And straight up on my head, you can see what we're working with, okay? It does need a little bit of work. Because there is no designated parting space, I'm gonna say you get about like two inches of, maybe one and a half to two inches front and back of parting space, okay? Um, the more you move to the sides, the smaller that space gets. So of course I'm gonna go in with my even tint spray and I'm gonna tint it lightly. I don't wanna go too heavy on it, I don't wanna make it too, too dark. And I'm drying that with my blow dryer. Now I'm cutting the lace, I'm actually gonna be melting this. I'm gonna use my favorite spray, which is the Aussie Freeze Spray. And I'm gonna spray it on first. I don't typically do it this way, y'all, but this is how I'm doing it today. I normally cut my lace off of cam, off of my head, because it's easier. But because I wanted the hairline to be like perfect i did it on my head so i could make sure that i was creating the hairline that i wanted while it was on me now i'm just kind of laying it down a little bit so it could melt down a little bit and kind of stick to me because we do not want that lifting and now i was looking for the parting space but like i said the closer you move to the side you can start seeing the tracks in the back so i had to move it over a little bit closer to the middle okay so you do get a little bit of a parting space which i do like um but it's not like crazy you know it's not that deep but it works okay now i'm using this mousse just to kind of play with the hair and kind of get it to set the way i want it to be and to get it out the way because i am going to jump on some baby hairs and i use the foam to do the baby hairs as well just to kind of see where i wanted it and to lock it in i will go on with the got to be and that's going to keep it in place girl okay i do have to do my makeup and i know that mousse is not going to stiffen that baby hair up enough if you know what i mean <laughs> but anyways so i have to go on with the hot comb and just lay it down a little bit more the hot comb does the trick it does the trick some kind of heat it doesn't have to be a hot comb this hot comb doesn't even get all that hot to be honest with you so anything with some heat if it's a curling iron whatever a wand go ahead and do that now using the la colors powder i'm going in and trying to finesse this thing sweeping it all on through the lace and i will be sweeping it up against the hairs as well to kind of hide some of those black dots and make the lace look a little bit more like skin now it's not my exact complexion now but when i set it with the setting spray the powder will darken up and look less cakey and also when i do my makeup i will be doing my contour and highlight and all of that stuff so it's going to you know blend in i'm using this which is my wig grip to actually place on top of the hair not really the lace but the hair so that way i could get that slick back style i needed something to hold it in place while because you saw me going with the hot comb but i needed something to keep it there so now you can see it, it formed this shape now on the side i went in with the freeze spray and i went in with some heat again just to make sure that we could slick that behind the ear girl and i burnt myself a little bit and then i actually secured that with a bobby pin and that was it so this is what the hair looked like straight out of styling which i think came out so so pretty super realistic and those baby heads are doing it i'm gonna come back and let you know what i think all right so now that we got all of that good stuff about the way let me let you know what i think about the unit so first of all i think that the fit is okay y'all y'all know i have like short hair um i'm a 22 and a half circumference size head and i'm just gonna say that it fits okay all right the fit is okay and i mean that because um you guys know that we have like that little front to kind of effect going on with this unit and uh it kind of has a hairline shape of its own where i noticed that the middle portion comes up more than the sides okay 
And um, if that's not your hairline shape or something like that, then I don't know how that will work. However, because I'm like almost bald headed, I was able to still make it work with the size being pushed back a little bit because I don't have any hair like that. But um, as far as the fit goes, I'm gonna say it's like just fitting me with like a little bit of space. It's not like super spacious, literally just fitting you guys. And I also wanted to mention as far as the lace fitting from ear to ear, on each side it is coming up a bit short. I would say like give me an extra half an inch at least on each side and it would have been perfect. And I say that because um, I literally just had enough lace, but also I don't have a lot of hair, especially on my edges. So I didn't have to worry about covering up any sideburns or edges, but if you're someone who has a lot of hair, that's something that you might want to consider. Not saying the style cannot work because the style that I ended up doing with the baby hairs and stuff like that anyway, covers up the laces on the sides. You can't even see it, but I just wanted to let you guys know just in case with like just fitting so if you have a huge head uh you may struggle with it or not um it just depends on how you finesse it especially when you're trying to use the hairline and everything that it comes with i'm gonna mention that the texture is super super soft i absolutely love how this unit feels y'all she is so soft and i am getting like human hair vibes like she looks like a human hair unit and she feels like a human hair unit i'm not getting any tangling with her i was getting a little bit of shedding as i put the mousse in it and i was kind of like styling it it was like little pieces of hair coming out but it wasn't anything extreme that i should be worried about doing everything Everything that I did is easy for me and um I can't say it was, I don't okay let me say this if you're trying to melt her down something like that then if you're used to that it's gonna be easy for you to do regardless but if you're someone who's not used to melting units but you want to melt her down uh then it may be a little challenging for you but I mean at the same time you have to learn somewhere, right? You gotta learn. She wasn't like too difficult to style for me in my opinion, but when it came to like trying to get like a little decent part up out of her, the hair doesn't have a designated parting area. The hair just kind of falls and do what it wanna do. So that part was kind of giving me like, ugh, like is my part staying, is the hair staying put? The hair keeps falling in my face. Is it gonna be showing some of the tracks in the back? You know what I'm saying? So it does take a little bit of thought um, with styling this unit if you're gonna do something like this. She's only running for $34, which in my opinion, I think is a good deal, okay? That is a snatch because I love the way the unit looks. Uh, spoiler alert, we didn't even get to my overall thoughts at the end yet, but she's super, super pretty and I feel like she she's gorgeous like she's just so pretty i love that they gave us that little hairline area to play with and 35 dollars 34 dollars is not a lot of money i feel like for the style for the curls for the little cut pattern they got going on in here for the nice density it looks nice and full the length is perfect it's not like scraping up all me and not too long look y'all i got something short for y'all i was complaining about them long units now we got something short and she's cute this is a this is a vibe right here i'm definitely happy with my purchase because she is so cute y'all she is so so cute like looking at the stock card right i was like girl i want that kind of action you know what i'm saying she got it all to the side and stuff i like it and y'all know i don't really go hard with the baby hairs like that but i feel like this unit it just goes like it just flows like these curls go with the baby hair she's so 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 pretty the hairline is actually pretty decent up in the front, like in the main area. Once we start getting to the sides, it gets very blunt, you guys, very, very blunt. Now, if you're someone super anal on your units looking super natural, you're gonna probably go in there and pluck it a little bit more, especially if you're not using baby hairs. I feel like me separating some of that hairline by pulling some out for the baby hairs and some going backwards, definitely kind of sparsed it up a little bit so it wasn't like too, um, straight on because at first I was feeling like it was looking like dang it could be tweezed a little bit more but considering everything that I did to it um it's looking much better especially the powder helps out pulling the baby hairs to the front another thing which is a con um the knots are pretty black and bold like that is something I was noticing I was like I don't know about that I don't know but overall it's really cute if you're not all up in my girl you're not gonna see it. and honestly she's cute so I don't care so just to sum it up, I think she's a really bomb unit, perfect for the price, definitely a cute unit. She's about to be one of my new fall go-tos. You know, 
I, I kind of like shorter hair in the falls, in the winters. Some people would say they do that in the summer because it's hot, but I do it that way because once it, you have to start wearing sweaters and blazers and jackets, you don't want long hair to be rubbing all up on your shoulders and stuff. So I kind of like the shorter hair so that way it's not rubbing up on those clothes. You know, versus the summer, you can have something long because you don't really have a lot of layers of clothing on. It's probably just a shirt, you know what I mean? Now the eyes of the day today is going to be pure hazel and this is actually from Fresh Eyes. Co. The promo code is going to be carry if you want to save yourself a little coin coin coin. The direct link will be listed in the description box along with an entire playlist with tons of different color contacts. And let me know your thoughts on this unit in the comment section below you guys. I'm going to link a playlist in the description box as well for a short here units because we does the short over here. But I'm going to wrap this video on up and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll holla. Peace. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh.